Hello, bonjour, salam alaikum. I am Pastor Kristen Engstrom, an ELCA missionary whom your congregation generously supports. This year I was planning to come visit you in person to say thank you, to share about the work God has called me to do as a missionary, and to get to hear what God has been up to in your congregation. But as you would expect, when the world turned upside down because of COVID-19, my visit became impossible. I am so thankful though to the leaders of your congregation for inviting me to do the next best thing, to say hello to you all in video form instead. As I said, I am Pastor Kristen Engstrom and I'm an ELCA missionary serving in Senegal in West Africa. Now I never assume that anyone knows where Senegal is. So I brought with me my handy dandy world map today. So here is the continent of Africa and Senegal is here, right on the furthest western coast of Africa. Or if we want to go in a little bit closer, here is West Africa, here's Morocco up here. And then here you will see Senegal on the Atlantic Ocean, just on the Atlantic Ocean, just south of the Sahara Desert. Four years ago, I was called by the ELCA to move to Senegal to begin and then coordinate the new Young Adults in Global Mission or YAGM program in Senegal. YAGM is a ministry of the ELCA where young adults between the ages of 21 and 29 work and live for one year with our companions in one of nine country programs around the world. The hope of the YAGM program is to give ELCA young adults an opportunity to serve as well as to be formed as faithful leaders with our global partners. In the Senegal program, we have now welcomed four different groups of young adults for a total of 22 young adults who have been shaped and challenged by living and working with our Lutheran companions in Senegal, who are the Lutheran Church of Senegal and Senegalese Lutheran Development Services. As you may have heard, all of the Yagam young adults came back to the United States in March of this year. And I was also called back to the U.S. by the ELCA at that time as well. This early return to the U.S. was a difficult shock for the Yagam, as they were just finding their groove in their families, in their workplaces, in their communities, and in their Senegalese languages after being there for seven months. They were supposed to come home at the beginning of July rather than mid-March. But we have been meeting weekly through Zoom calls to share what we've all been up to, to mourn how fast we had to say goodbye to our sisters and brothers in Senegal and mourn the fact that we had to leave when we did at all. But we've also been celebrating and talking about what they all learned, what they struggled with and what they loved during their seven months in Senegal. And of course, we are all trying to find a way forward together. The weekend of May 15th through 16th, all of the recently returned Yagam from all nine program countries are even going to be participating in an online retreat together, or they may have already done so if you're watching this after May 15th and 16th. As for me, I am currently living at my parents' home in Southern Minnesota. I continue to accompany the Yegum as they adjust to their new life back in the United States. I'm keeping contact with our companions in Senegal, and mostly I'm trying to find ways to connect with and say thank you to all of you, the congregations who support the work that I do as an ELCA missionary. I will be returning to Senegal. We just don't know when. That depends on how we all globally respond to the COVID virus and when airports around the world be again begin to open. Or you might say, as we say in Senegal, inshallah, God willing. Most of all, 
I want to say thank you to you all today. Thank you for your generous support of ELCA Global Missions and of my work coordinating the Yagam program in Senegal. We cannot be the church without each other. We cannot work together as the body of Christ without our Lutheran companions around the world or in our own backyards. For me to serve in Senegal, I and the whole church need congregations like yours, congregations who choose to share your resources beyond your congregation and support the work of the church around the world. So thank you, Jeda Jeff, Jokanjal, Jarama, Merci, for the support you have shared with me and with the ELCA so that I can serve as an ELCA missionary, so that together we can be the body of Christ alive in the world. If you want to hear and read stories from Senegal, stories from the Yagam and from my life, you can go to the Yagam Senegal blog. The link is in the box below the video screen. But until next time, or in the Wolof language of Senegal, Ba Benenyon. May God bless you and keep you. May God give you God's strength at this time. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Yalabachna, rogafaha. God is good.